Hey, Charles here. So in this video, I'll teach you about JavaScript objects and I'll show you everything that you need to know in order to start using objects in your dream project. And objects penetrate every aspect of JavaScript language. So for you to understand JavaScript, it's very necessary for you to understand objects. And we are going to cover all these topics in this particular video. So it might be a bit long, so stick around, be ready to learn, and let's dive right in. So in JavaScript, we usually have eight data types. Seven of them are primitive types that include numbers, strings, null, and so on. And the other one of them is objects. Objects are very special because each new object is usually stored in its own memory space and therefore two separate objects will never be equal and we'll learn more about these when we get to object references and for your information arrays and functions are also objects in javascript and to learn more about them uh, check the link at the description section below for the full javascript course here on youtube absolutely for free now let's see how we can create an object in javascript there are two main ways there is object literal which you'll be using about 99.9% .9 of the time and then there is the object constructor now to use object literal we can just say const user here and we use an equal sign and include curly brackets like that and believe me not we have defined an object using the literal syntax Using the object constructor, we can just say const. Now we say maybe user2 will be equal to, we make use of the new keyword, and then we have the object constructor, so we invoke that. So most of the time, you will just make use of the object literal right here. And objects are simply represented by the curly brackets. Now let's add some uh, values in here. So objects are simply used to store some form of data. So I'll just like cut that and we can store some data about this user, okay? And for us to include the values, we usually make use of what we call properties. Properties are key and value pair. So right here we should have a key, I'll say name, that is a key. And then I use a full colon and then I include a value. So I can say Charles. So this is a key and then this is a value and together like this, this is called a property. Now a value can hold uh, different data types. For example, we can like use a comma to separate the properties and we can have another key is admin and we use a full colon and we say true. And as you can see, this is a string, this is a boolean. You can also use arrays, functions, and so on. And also, you can use an object inside an object. So, for example, we can say address. So let's say we want to store the address of this user, and it's in form of an object as well. So, I use a full colon, and now its value is an object. In this object, we should have properties. Properties are key and value pair. So, the key for this one can be city. Full colon, the value can be Nairobi. As you can see, you can use an object as a value for a key in a property. I hope all this is making sense, okay? And then, how do we like read these values, okay? How can we access them? So we can access them using what we call the dot notation. So the dot notation, we first target the object. So we target user object here. We make use of the dot and then we target the key. For example, if we want to get the value of the name here, so we just make use of name right here. And we can go ahead and log this to the console. So right here I'll say console.log of user.name. Okay. When I paste that there and save, we should get Charles on the console. Now, another way is by using the square brackets. So right here, I can make use of the square brackets. And once I make use of the square brackets, I should use 
this as a string i should read it as a string else it will throw an error of name is not defined so right here if i save this we still get the same result but where the square brackets come in handy is when your key here has two names for example instead of is admin one name we can have is admin like this but as a string like this when you have two names you must like include it in a string now you can't read these using the dot notation therefore you must make use of the square brackets so i make use of the square bracket like that and then save and we are able to read that value optional chaining optional chaining it helps you to avoid unnecessary errors for example if we try to access a value that does not exist okay for example if i remove this address then we try to access address.ct we will get an error okay so right here if i say user dot address first so if we do this we will get undefined first because address does not exist but if we try to access city in here it will draw an error because to begin with address does not exist and we are trying to access a value in address so if when i save we get a very big error cannot read property of undefined reading city now optional chaining helps us to avoid that kind of error so we can like just include a question mark here so that we have a question mark and then a full stop and now this is the optional chaining operator and that way we will get undefined on our terminal which is not a bad thing it just means that uh, that city does not exist okay now we can also be able to loop through the keys and the values of an object using the for in loop so this is the syntax we just say for we call these brackets we start by defining a variable so i can say let key in and then we include the object that we want to loop through so we are simply getting the key in user object like it's that self-explanatory and that way we have like already uh, defined it so if we try to log this key to the console and let me just comment these you'll see that we get name and is admin at the terminal i save and we get name and is admin so the for in loop is a pretty straightforward you just define the variable here for the key and then you specify the object and this can be anything okay it can be i don't know youtube it's just a variable but key makes sense so if i say here youtube and save we still get the same thing okay i just wanted to like prove prove it to you that uh, that is just a variable now to read the values for this key you can just say user and then you use the bracket notation and then you pass the key in here so user is the object key is our keys so when i save we will get the values for those keys charles and true which is this and this pretty easy object references so now i want you to pay close attention at this topic because this is where you'll actually get to understand the difference between primitive data types and objects and objects are usually stored and copied by reference while primitive types are stored and copied by value so for us to clearly understand this we will have two main examples here one with primitive types and the other one with objects so let's go ahead and create a variable called admin and now this will be a primitive type so uh, maybe i'll say admin is charles okay and then i can go ahead and create a second variable here called admin2 so if i copy the value of this one and set it to admin that will make uh, this admin2 to be equal to admin and the value of admin is charles so now the value of admin2 will be charles so let's just go ahead and log this to the console 
so I can say console dot log of admin two and save it and we get that now admin two is Charles okay as you can see at the terminal here now if I go ahead and change the value of the first one here so let's say admin now will be John let's make sure we log this to the console down here so if I go ahead and save you'll notice that the value here is still Charles so the value of admin 2 does not change even though we change the value of admin and this is because when we copy this admin we are copying the actual value of uh, this admin so we are copying Charles right here and objects usually behave differently and let's see an example so I'll just like first just uh, you know comment out this one and right here I will say let user uh, but I guess I had a user there but I can say let username be equal to now right here I'll have a name and then I will include Charles here but now this is an object okay this is an object I'm setting username to be an object and I'm including the name here to be Charles and let's copy that so I can say let username to we set it to username so now right here what I'm doing is that I'm setting username 2 to be equal to this username and this username is holding this particular object so when we log username 2 to the console let's do that console dot log of username 2 we get our object at the console but what happens when we change a value in this object so let's say username dot name will be equal to john so we change the value from charles to john and let's log now this to the console i copy that and paste it here and save you see we get two different objects the first one is charles the second one is john so when we change the name here we are also manipulating our username to here so what is actually happening objects are copied by reference so this username is not storing the actual value of this object it is storing a reference to it in memory so this object when it's created it will be like allocated a memory space and then the username here will just point to that a particular memory space which is now equal to this object and when we like uh, copy it like this when we set username 2 to be username here we are simply copying the reference to this object therefore we only have one object in memory okay and once we change the value of that object that means that this username 2 since it's still pointing to the same same object it will be assigned that new value and that is one of the main difference between primitive types and uh, objects so in primitive types the variables are storing the actual values but in objects the variables are storing the reference to those particular objects and let me show you something uh, very interesting because each object when it's created it's usually created in its own memory space so if i create an empty object right here so I just remove the values here and save and then I create another empty object right here so these two objects look the same right and when we perform a check here like red username be equal to username 2 you might think that these will return true but the answer is actually false so when I save this we get false at the console and why is this so this is so because this object is in a separate memory space from this particular object and when we assign variables like these these variables are holding different addresses they are holding different uh, directions or maps to those particular objects and therefore Two objects defined like this, they can never be equal. Even though they have the same uh, values and properties, even though they look the same with naked eyes, they will never be equal. They'll always be um, 
different because they are pointing to different objects but if we copy the reference right here if i press this username right here now we are pointing to the same object in memory the reference is the same and therefore this returns true you get it and this is now uh different uh, than this one because now right here let's let's go back to our first example of primitive data types and i'll just comment out this so if i come right here let's bring back this let's bring back this we can compare these two so if i say let admin be equal to admin 2 so what do you expect at the console we expect false because this admin we change its value to john and this one is still charles so if we save this one we get false but what if we had the same same value right here so if i copy this and like paste it here and we don't change anything so in object we saw that these would like uh, bring an error so in objects we saw that these will be false but in primitive types now these are equal so if i save you see it's true and the reason is because these values is the same in memory and what i mean by that is that eg this letter c and this letter c is the same in memory and they are both pointing to the same c in memory unlike in objects where objects are in different places in memory okay so two primitive types will always be equal like maybe if it's a number like this one if i save that this is true because these two is the same in memory we don't have many tools in memory we just have one and we are just pointing to the same two but when we make use of objects what we are doing is that we are now like pointing to two different things in memory and therefore that is why this is bringing false and earlier when we began this video i told you that arrays are objects so if i press an array here and if i press an array here they are treated as objects they are in different memory spaces so if i save this we get false they are like behaving the same and they are also like copied by reference and stored by reference so if i change this to admin we copy that reference which is the same now we get true and the same happens to functions functions are also special objects and that's why i told you objects penetrate in every aspect of javascript and it's good to understand them so if i do this we can copy this function by reference and if i save we get true but if we had a similar function which looks the same now these two functions are stored in different places in memory and therefore they will never be equal so if i save we get false so it's really good that you understand uh, this concept and i highly request that you rewatch this section okay because this is how you understand the difference between objects and also uh, the primitive data types so with that said we'll just move on to object uh, garbage correction and garbage correction uh, simply narrows down to unreachable objects okay or unreachable data so let me just like uh, make this a bit cleaner so for example let's just have a simple object or let's say car be equal to an object where color is black so i have this particular object right here now it is possible to change the direction or to change the value of this car so if i come here and set car to null what happens this object becomes unreachable because we have changed the direction of this car we have changed its value we have like pointed it to a different value of null so right here if we try to say uh, console.log of car dot color we can't reach it we get an error at the console now when this happens javascript will automatically know that this object is no longer reachable and therefore it will be cleared from the memory space and that is what we simply call uh, objects garbage correction so unreachable objects are usually dumped and they are deleted from memory automatically and uh, yeah you can like go ahead and research more about it but that is like basically it okay so now let's take a look at 
functions in objects and also the these keyword. So if we have a variable here, let's say user, and then we point it to an object. This object has a name and then we have a key of say hello, which we are setting to a function. And whatever we are doing, we are just logging hello to the console. Now, this function, which is defined inside an object, is what we call a method. And we can be able to call it by using the dot notation. So right here we can say user and then dot say hello. And then we use the brackets to call it. So if I save, we should be able to see hello at the terminal. So I'll go ahead and save and we get hello at the terminal. Now, what happens if we want to log this name to the console? So we can be able to access that name very easily. We can say user dot name. And now when I save, we get Charles at the console. But now this has an issue when we try to like copy this to another variable. So let's have an example here. So let us have another variable user too and we set it to be our user and whatever we do we copy a reference to this particular object and now we can maybe reassign this user to a different value so maybe we can set user here to null for obvious reasons uh, of you know changing its value so it no longer points to this particular object now the issue that we have is that when we try to say user to dot say hello then we get an error because this user is null. So for example, let's say console.log of user2 here. And let me not call this for now and save. So you can see we still have our object S in memory because we, we copied its reference to user2. And we still have our function. So if I say user2 dot say hello and save uh, okay we can't like get the actual properties of uh, this function but we still have that function right there in memory now the issue is that this user doesn't have a name so if we try to call that function we get an error so if i save you see cannot read property null reading name so it's trying to get null.name which doesn't exist so in such a case is where the this keyword comes in. So we can be able to replace this user by the this keyword. And whatever this will do is that it will reference the current object. So this now will be user here. But when we copy it to user2, now this will point to like user2, which exists. Okay. So now this will not throw an error and it will give us our name. So I'll go ahead and save and we get Charles. And yeah, that is it about like the this keyword. But what I can point out is that uh, arrow functions doesn't have the this keyword, okay? So if right here we change this function to an arrow function, you will see that we will not be able to get access to uh, the name here. So if we call this and save, you see, we get undefined because arrow functions doesn't have their own uh, this keyword but when i return the previous normal or regular function and pass an arrow function in here so we can say let say hi be equal to an arrow function and whatever we log to the console is this dot name now in such a case this say hi we reuse the this keyword of its parent function but when it's alone, it doesn't have its own. So right here, we go ahead and call say hi. We should be able to get the name at the console. So when I save, we get Charles. But now this is not for this arrow function, but for this regular function out here. And as you saw, when we remove this function, we actually get undefined at the console. So yeah, that is it about a uh, this video and we have covered some cool topics about objects and here they are we covered what is an object different ways of creating an object object properties and their syntax optional chaining how we can loop through the various and the keys of an object 
the object references and this is a topic that i request you to uh, go back to for you to understand the difference between primitive data types and objects how javascript handles a garbage correction which is just by you know uh, reachability if a value if an object is not reachable then javascript just removes it from memory and then we have functions in objects which we now call methods and now we have the this keyword so that is it i hope you really enjoyed and if you want to learn more about javascript uh, stick around on the channel subscribe turn on post notification and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one